Good morning, St. Francis, and good morning, people of God. It is Thursday, the 13th day of April, 2023, Thursday of the octave of Easter. Uh, it is Easter Thursday. It is the fifth day of the Easter season. Um, so coming to you uh, this morning from the Great Magnolia, the Great, Great Magnolia Circle. Um, another beautiful morning in, uh, in North Carolina today. Uh, rain should come in tomorrow, but at least today it is a lovely day, a lovely day, another, another lovely day as resurrection continues uh, to um, spread itself and its reality and its truth um, all over uh, the world, all over creation. Uh, so on this uh, Thursday, Easter Thursday, the fourth day, fifth day of Easter season, uh, f uh, let's see, the um, Thursday in the octave, the fifth day of the octave, uh, we have a continuation of Acts of the Apostles, as we will the entire Easter season. Uh, what happens after Peter and uh, James have uh, healed the man who was lame, crippled, whatever, uh, paralyzed. Um, and they basically go, P Peter again goes into another speech. There's lots of speeches at the beginning of the Acts of the Apostles uh, that Peter continues to seem to give again and again. And this one um, is is like, do not be amazed, you know, that, that this happened. You know, again, they did not do it in their own name. They did not do it themselves, but they did it in the name of Jesus, uh, the, you know, the one who was raised, Jesus the Nazarene. Um, uh, and, and they say this is possible because, again, God raised Jesus and has given the apostles, you know, the power of anyone or anyone who believes the power to be able to do amazing things. And again, Peter's always hammering the home, hammering home the reality that, you know, you fortunately, unfortunately, you Jewish people, you killed him, you killed him, you killed him, you killed him, but he didn't stay dead. Uh, and that's kind of the thing again and again. He kind of throws it back in their face a lot, which I guess, I guess you could. But again, remember, Peter, you ran away and denied him and everything else like that. Uh, so you just, you know, uh, you're, you're taking on this role of, you know, judge and things like that, that maybe you should temper a bit. Um, but it is a sense, again, in which Peter uh, needs to reinforce uh, to the people around him uh, that, again, this is done because uh, God sent Jesus and, and God needed Jesus to accomplish something and Jesus did. And the fact now is that because you could not get rid of him and the power that he had is now being shared among those who believe, then um, you better start believing. Uh, you better start realizing uh, that God has done something incredible in, in this world in which we live, in this broken, sad, um, you know, sometimes despairing world in which we live. That light that is Christ, the light that is resurrection, the light that is God's presence always in this world is shining through. Um, um, and we need to pay attention to that. A very good lesson, you know, even for all of us, you know, 2,000 plus years later, uh, you know, who dare to call ourselves believers, that we need to see where it is that Christ's light, that God's light, that God's presence shines through in the midst of despair. Most of the times we can just, again, get locked into despair, locked into that hopelessness uh, that sometimes we think is the only thing that there is, and it isn't. Um, we need to give witness to that more, always. Uh, but it's hard, and it's a struggle, and it's a challenge, and sometimes we give up too easily with it, but we must never ever uh, succumb uh, to letting despair win. Um, and again, these uh, the narratives from Acts of the Apostles um, are, are done, are, are read to us, are proclaimed to us, so that we might again regain that courage uh, to. Uh, work to recognize the light of Christ, the light of, ris of the risen Lord, which it just doesn't last for these 50 days of Easter, but is part and parcel of the foundation of what it is that we believe in who we are as believers in this world always. In Luke's gospel, uh, which is our gospel for today, we continue where um, the apostles left off, uh, going back to Jerusalem to tell everybody that Jesus has been raised and they are told by the apostles there that yes, he has appeared to Simon uh, and they, you know, the apostles who were on the road to Emmaus recount what had happened. And then Jesus appears again. So he was just in Emmaus and he disappeared. Now, now he's back in Jerusalem and appearing to them there. And, and again, they think that they've seen a ghost. Again, they can't, they can't get over this. They've just had two other appearances of him. And, they, and there was this whole idea, it must be a ghost. It must be a ghost. And then Jesus does something wonderfully practical. He says, got anything to eat? Because I'm hungry. And, and so they give him some fish and, and things like that. And he eats it in their sight. And they're like, wow, I can't believe this is actually happening. Yes, because it's supposed to happen. And you're not believing. And you better start believing because nothing's going to get going until you basically believe. Um, and then again, Jesus repeats, all these things had to happen. I told you these things had to happen. Um, but yet you allow, you know, your, your, your decision to remain in ignorance or decision not to want to stretch yourself in belief to keep thinking that, you know, just what is is what is. And with God, what is is preamble always to something more. And what is is only a sliver of what can be and what will be. Um, resurrection and Easter show us that 
constantly, again, to recognize that light of Christ that is at work in this world always and everywhere. That is our mission as believers, to reinforce that, to give each other courage to believe it, and to give witness to it in what we say and what we do. Um, Easter is, again, not just a moment in time. It is, again, a reshaping of who and what we are as believers in this world. A reshaping this world needs us uh, to, to, to experience so that, it, so that we can be what our world needs um, to offer hope and peace and joy everywhere we go. A blessed Easter, continuation of the Easter season, St. Francis and people of God, may the Lord give you his peace.